Hey, what's up, guys? I gotta come up with a better intro than that. I'm always like, hey, like, don't you wanna buy some candy? It's a bad intro. What's going on, guys? This is Hopfoot. We are doing our playthrough of Knights of the Old Republic 2. Dose. Duh. Do. Uh, I don't know any more languages. Me. There we go. Two. And, um, yeah, that's what we are. We're doing it. We're doing a cast playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Um, this game is, uh, subtitled The Sith Lords, of whom we've not met any yet. Thank goodness. Unless I'm gonna become a Sith Lord very soon here. I don't know. Um, we are doing a chaos playthrough, which means anything and everything that can be random will be random. And, uh,. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. And the way we're doing this is rolling a die for conversations, for levels up, for everything. We're about to, we've got some choices up here, like over this direction. There's a door, there's a door behind this thing, there's a door over there. We're going to roll to see which direction we go. We came from this direction, so we're not going that way. But um, <clears throat> we're going to see what exactly... Uh, we're doing from here on out we just so we're if you're this is your first time watching um you can be with where we're going or yeah i be with where we're going what is that that's not even english you can be caught up with uh, what we're doing and where we are at in the uh story so far basically uh, our ship was attacked and we crash kind of crash landed here at this place and we were dead but we're not now and the people are still trying to kill us so we're trying to figure out just what is happening here and try and get off this little floating rock in space so yeah we're gonna get to it and keep going on um so we've got a direction there to go got a direction there i'm as well Okay, we're just gonna go this way. You don't really roll for this stuff, but that's not a whole direction. This is just, uh, I thought that was like a door we could go through. It's just a little hallway. So it looks like we're only gonna have... Okay, you know what? I'm just a complete liar because there, you can't really go that direction either. Um, we're gonna recover this mine here. So we're just gonna go this direction. Um, because it doesn't look like an actual direction that we can go. Uh, we are recovering the mines because perhaps possibly we could just disarm them, but hopefully we can sell them um, Or if we need to use them we can use them All right, so so much for my first theory about the uh, rolling. We're not doing that. We are just going this direction uh -oh. What what is going on? Um all right, we don't need this droid. I'm pretty OP right now for this area, this section. So I'm just gonna pew pew pew. Um, go ahead and attack this guy. Pew pew pew. Oh, there's a second one. Wow, I really suck. Can't hit anything. I'm a stormtrooper. Yeah, that's right, you're dead. Okay, that guy wasn't too hard. Now, you saw at the top there we've got some special attacks, and I didn't use any of them because I don't remember what they do. They all do good stuff, but they also have some pretty negative stuff. That, oh, this is skills. Powers? No, nope, that's Jedi stuff. Okay. Um, what kind of force powers do I have? Okay, that's the one we leveled up to, but this one I don't know. Oh, the precognition that we get automatically. Alright. Anyway, so the feats we've got here for the blaster, we've got Power Blast, Rapid Shot, and Sniper Shot. And this basically gives us extra damage, but it's harder for us to hit something. This one allows us to take an extra attack, but we suffer a negative 4 to defense for 3 seconds afterwards. So that's not necessarily good. And this one allows us to increase our critical range. It uh, doubles it from whatever it's at, which I think currently it's 19 to 20, so it would be a 17 to 20 if we use it. 
Um, but then we have negative five defense after that. So none of those are really good things. Um, also, we're going to save our game because we always save our game. Um, these games were made back when you had the OG hard modes where uh, you just automatically had a hard mode because you had to you didn't have auto save or if you did it was extremely limited okay bunch of stuff there let's save now if you like this kind of thing and you're like well this is kind of interesting you should check out my other uh, playthrough we did a playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 the first and if I can Sonic, Sonic, Ion. Let's throw an Ion grenade out there. Oh yeah, We've got three of them. Oh, there's a lot more. Okay, let's throw an Ion grenade again. Okay. Pew pew pew. Ow! I'm getting burned. And I'm still getting burned. And let's throw an iron grenade. Because they're all grouped up again now. Which is what we want. Oh, I need to heal. I'm gonna die. For some reason I can't hit this guy. I'm gonna can I shield myself? Is that a thing I can do? Heal myself some more. Yeah, there you go. Take that. Your rust bucket. Got a repair kit. It's useless to me. Oh, nothing to loot from any of the rest of them. All right, fun. Maintenance droid. Okay. Another repair kit. There's a corpse. I love to loot corpses. They're my favorites. Advanced mining laser. Sweet. That seems like something that would be useful to us. Let's take a look at our blaster here. So right now we've got a uh, die 8 plus 3. If we do this, we've got a die 12 and probably also a plus 3. Our range is a little bit increased. And our critical threat range is actually increased as well. That's good. I think I'm going to go with OK. Yep, die 12 plus 3. That's good. I like that. I'm bringing out the big guns. Heavy bonded plates, mark one. Energy shield, alright. Let's um, save our game real quick. Always be saving, yo. I don't know if I ever finished my thought earlier. Um, if you're interested in, in this kind of stuff and you think it's cool, you should go and check out my playlist of Star Wars uh, Nice of the Old Republic 1, um, where I play through that. It's on a playlist on this channel, so it should be pretty easy to find. We basically play the first one, we do the same kind of chaos playthrough, so it's pretty interesting. If you want to just uh, cut to the chase on uh, how that affects the game, um, just uh, watch the last few if that's all you really want to do, and you'll be able to see where um, the chaos really hindered our abilities to do a lot of stuff at the end there. Oh, I've got headgear. Check this out. This gives me awareness plus one. Um, it's a survey gear. When surveying new asteroid claims, the headgear is designed to help identify both pockets of Perigian gas and any placed thermal charges in the area. Small sonic generation and receiving gear with the helmet is designed to absorb any high decibel emissions from sonic charges. And a Rakuten bang. Band. Wisdom plus one. This simple device improves the, the wearer's ability to perceive the reality of their surroundings. Uh, we read this one the last time. Um, 
basically they think the Rakatan are made up. So basically are going to give us a plus one for each thing, but this is a stat based one and stat based are always better. So we're going to just keep that one on there. Um, we don't have access to uh, implants, it would seem. Now let's shoot that guy. Too far away? Oh, okay. Oh, hey, we leveled up. We we'll shot a little ball out of the sky, and uh, apparently it's good for us. Is this a computer thing we can use? I don't know what this dealie is. Nope, just a, just a whatever that is. All right, so let's go ahead and level ourselves up. Now you get to see what exactly this chaos thing is. So we're going to level ourselves up, find our skills. We've got eight skills here, so we're going to roll a die eight. You got a six, so that's going to be repair goes up, and a four, so awareness goes up, a five, persuade, and a six. Okay, actually we can't do six because we have don't have an option, so let's go eight. All right, eight goes up. Okay. Feats. Now, uh, again, in case you're new, these gives us special different abilities, different things for our character. Um, so, let's see how many options we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen. All right, we've got seventeen choices. We're going to roll our die 20. If we get over 17, which we just did, we get a 19. I only roll high or things that... Usually the bad choices for these games are the high numbers. And I only roll high numbers if I'm not playing D&D. Go figure. Uh, a 5. Alright, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Gearhead. This feat gives a plus 1 skill point bonus to repair, security, and computer use. You must have at least 1 skill point in a particular skill to receive the bonus, though. So, okay, let's add that beat. Powers! Powers, do I get anything in powers? Did my game just freeze? I think my game just froze. Is OBS still working? God. Okay, that's actually what wanted to happen. Um, so let's go ahead and end that task. Good thing we saved recently, right? All right. Well, this is in the stream. Awesome. I'm glad this is here. Cool stuff. Okay, you guys are super excited, I'm sure. <sighs> you shouldn't expect anything else, though. Literally nothing tech-wise ever works for me the way it's supposed to. Even this non-tech stuff doesn't work for me the way it's supposed to. Okay. All right.
right, let's try this again. So we're going to pew 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 that guy. Let's uh, give ourselves an extra attack. He doesn't attack back, so we might as well. Sweet, there's a level up. Let's go ahead and save our... Whoops, no, not load. Cancel. Let's save our game. Before we do our level up. So we're going to level up. Level up our skills. Let's see, I know we had... Repair. We had a treat injury. We had a persuade. And... I think we had a four. I think we had an awareness. Now, I could be incorrect, but I think that's what it was. So I'm going to go with that. A footses. And we got the gear. Gear head. Add feet. Okay. Now, okay. It seems to be working. Let's take a trip with me on whether this continues to work or not. Okay, still working. Sweet. It's really weird why it froze up like that. Doesn't make any sense to me. Alright, so let's see uh, what kind of options we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen. 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. Alright, so we're going to roll our die 20. Anything over 16, uh, we will not be doing. Sorry, right, I keep hitting my mic, guys. I got itchy face today, I guess. Um, Niner. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. What is this? Slow. It's a dark side power. This power clouds the mind, making a target's actions unusually sluggish. The victim suffers a negative two penalty to defense, reflex saves, and attack rolls. The effect lasts for 30 seconds unless a successful will save of DC 5 plus attacking level plus uh, whiz and char. Um, this power does not affect droids. Sweet. Let's do it. And accept. And save our game before it freezes again. See? That's what I say. You can never save too much. Always be saving, yo. You never know what's going to happen. Alright. Loot the corpse. Yay! Energy shields. That's good. I like that. Let's keep going. Um... Can I go through this? It doesn't look healthy. Let's save our game again. Yep, okay. Kind of what I thought. Pew, pew, pew. Die, robot. Oh, apparently I'm just going to automatically start shooting at him, too. We're going to recover this mine. Maybe we can use it, maybe we can sell it, who knows. Energy shield. Oops, I think one's going away. So let's equip one again. They only last for so long or for so much damage. Probably should have waited to equip mine, but I knew that there's another droid things up here. He doesn't see me yet. Alright, nothing there. Recover this mine. Will you be mine? Will you be mine, Valentine? Seems like the kind of Valentine I would have, a deadly explosive. It's like dead it's like dating a redhead, right? Um Been there, done that a couple times. The C. Okay, it seems to be everywhere we can go. Now we're gonna get some pew pew. We're gonna do some of the pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Today's cast is brought to you by Stormtroopers United, the association apparently I belong to. Oh my god, why can't I hit him? Am I too far away? Ugh. Maybe I was too far away. That seems to be a thing. 
A broken droid, all right. I will break you, droid. All right, before we go attack that guy, we're gonna save our game. Save our game, save our game, in case it gets frozen again, and we have to use task manager to close it and then reopen it. Save our game, save our game. He's got a goddamn flamethrower. That shit's real crazy, yo. Ow. Okay, well he's not hitting me. He's not shooting me, so... Ought to be okay. Why is everything keep bouncing off of him? Like, nothing's hitting him. There we go. Must have been the shield. Ah, oh, I can't loot his corpse. Why can't I loot the... Nope, oh, nope, nope, nope. I already took stuff. Close. Get out of there. Wasn't even selected on you. Jeez, get out of here. All right, let's bring up our map. We've pretty much been everywhere. Superheated blast tunnel. Is that? Oh, that's where we just were. Okay, that's where all the gases were. I'm not sure why that's marked out specially on our map, but interesting. Save our game again. Again, you think this is unnecessary to save, but if you watch this long enough, or you go back and watch my other playlist of stuff, you will recognize that this is quite indeed necessary. Not just necessary, but the like, British necessary. Can I loot him? No. So the big question is going to be whether I can turn one of these shields off one at a time or not. I'd be a little crazy if I can't do it one at a time. But if I can, that'd be nice. Alright, credits, chemicals, med packs, get them items, yo. Plastisteel cylinder. Alright. Let's go ahead and save our game. Save, 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 save our game. Oh, save, 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 save our game. All right. Let's check out the cameras. That's always a good first thing to do. Um, emergency hatch to administration level. I don't know where that's at. Emergency hats to fuel depot. I don't know where that's at either. Unidentified hollow record camera. Okay. Playback initiated. Oh, we're gonna watch a little thing now, I guess. Everybody here? What's up, Kurda? We're supposed to be sinking fuel siphons into the 3218 asteroid shelf right now. Forget the siphons. You know that survivor they pulled from the freighter? One of the miners said they served with her on Malachor 5. Malachor 5? So she's one of the survivors. Or worse, the Mandalorian. So what? Not a survivor, idiot. She's one of the Jedi from Malachor 5. If she's one of the Jedi? Hell, we can't have her walking around here. She'll... Well, I don't know what she'll do. I thought all the Jedi were wiped out in the Civil War. Look, they're getting freaked out about somebody. They don't even know what's going to happen. That's only what people are afraid of, what they don't know. You want to sell the Jedi to the exchange? I don't know what Malachor 5 was, though. It's Look, interesting. You know how big that bounty is? That Jedi's our ticket off this rock. Gorda, there's no way the officers will go for that. They'll lock us up for sure. Then we'll improvise. Someone has taken care to delete the record of this camera being placed. It is not listed on any of the work records. Interesting. Um, return to main functions. Call up droid command functions. I like that. You can add other droids to droid mining protocol. I feel like that's probably not good. Cancel all droid mining functions on organics. Like they'd quit attacking me. I feel like that's good. 
Reassign them to mine sealed doors. I like that idea. So let's do that. Continue. Hopefully we won't get attacked anymore, that'd be good. Yeah, no longer attack you on the strange protocols. Mining droid commands. Um, let's get them to open the sealed doors if we can do that. Yep, so we're gonna continue there. So that's good, that's kinda what we want, for sure. Oh, we're gonna watch a little video about it. Yay, us. And main functions, fuel containment functions. I don't know what that is. Containment fields? Do I want to shut those down? Oh boy. I think so. Let's log out. I think we're good. I don't think we need anything else. These guys aren't going to hurt me anymore. They shouldn't, anyway. Hey, guys. We're friends now, right? Okay. I'm just going to leave this guy alone. I could do all that stuff and take parts. I really want to. But, um... Well, actually, let's see if we do. Let's check them all out and see if we... We're going to roll a die for it. We're going to see which one we get. Do we blow them up? Do we take their stuff? Do we examine them? So, let's go ahead and roll a die four. I got a four. We're gonna have it explode in three seconds. So we gotta get out of here. Boop. He did. Same for this guy. Going to roll our die four. A three. This is exactly what happened last time. Not sure why one can blow it up in front of me and I'm okay, and one will blow it up in front of me and I'm not okay. Let's roll a die four again. A two. I haven't had this one before. Same in the unit's behavior core. It looks as if some recent modifications have been made to this unit's vocabulator. Okay. These droids will no longer accept commands from any member of the mining facility except one. The ID designation matches the maintenance officer for this facility. Interesting. Let's uh, go ahead and roll a... Okay, we got a three. Detonate with non-lethal. We're not getting experience for this, but maybe it's helping us from being attacked later down the road. I don't know. We got a two. Examine the behavior core. We know that already. Then let's roll a four. Run away! Boom. Ooh, a corpse. I love finding unexpected corpses. If I was in a gravity metal band, that's totally what it would be called. Unexpected corpses. Uh oh. There's a guy that's not friendly. Is he friendly? Yeah, he looks friendly. He's not attacking me. I thought I turned them all friendly. Why would it attack me? Alright, let's talk. Let's... Where's my die for? Roll our die for again. A three! Boop! And this guy. And a die for. And a three again! I usually only roll ones on these if I'm trying to cast magic missile or something seems about right let's roll a three again non-lethal I was hoping I'd scavenge at least a couple parts from this but that is not happening oops why, well I'm stuck why do I keep getting stuck that was really weird camera angle was hella wonky it was a honky wonky tonky stanky lanky cranky Funky monkey, donkey. I'm gonna have to make some adjustments to something because my frame rate, you guys are probably not getting a very good video. I'm just realizing this because my drop frame rates are at like 10%. That's not good. 
try and fix this, guys. I swear. Thanks for sticking with me if you're watching these and you keep watching these. I appreciate appreciate you. Two. All right. We're going to examine his behavior again. Let's see. Do we get a one? Do we check its last received commands? Yes, we do. We do get a one. All right. Yay. It looks as if their mining protocols have been set to mine any organics and any non-authorized droids in the facility. If this is the case, then the mining droids have likely wiped out everyone and everything in the facility. Oh, that's pleasant. All right. Let's roll a die four. Or I'm sorry, a die six. I rolled a die six. One to two is a one. So we're going to scavenge it for parts. All right. We're just going to leave it alone now. You're all good, bro. Okay, I can't walk past you. Is there a guy I've got to shoot over here? Yep, there he is. Oh, you dead, bro. I'm sorry. Hey, how are you, droid buddy? I feel like I could have one of these follow me around as a pet. I got a one scavenger for spare components. Now we're gonna leave it alone. I wonder if I'm getting spare actual component components, like components in this game, or whether it's like spare computer parts. A two. Okay, and a four. It's a one. Okay, I already did this. I don't need to do that. Okay, so it dies six. So three. Um, three to four is a two. Detonate him. Boop. Yeah, picking up some strange readings. What are you doing down there? Playing with the droids. Duh. All right, let's roll our die. Six. I got a five. A five to a six is a three. <laughs> that seems right. Trust me. Whatever you've detected, it is probably my fault. Containment fields in the mining tunnels are shutting down. You need to get out of there before they vent fuel to the surface of the asteroid through the tunnels. Hmm. Control a die six. A two. One to two is a one. So how much time do I got? Three months. Get the turbo lift to the fuel depot, but not for much longer. I'm locking down the turbo lift to the administration section now to keep the blast from spreading. If you've got anything left to do, didn't I just get that open? Because where you are is going to get real hot, real soon. All right, let's open up our thing. So we can go this way or that way. Um, so we're gonna roll a die six this time and skip number two. So a four, a three to four is two, but we're skipping two, so two is now number three, so non-lethal. Boop. Oh. We're gonna recover this mine. Give me mines. Let me make that money. I'm gonna sell it. Oh, hey, that guy's cool. That guy's cool. That looks cool. Alright, die six again. Four. Three to four is a two, which is number three. Non-lethal. Anything in there? Nope. Got a mine in here. Plastic steel container. What? Let me waste another security spike. That'll be nice. What is this? Minor. Deadly. Well, why not? Now it's even more damaged, but I got it open. I don't know if that was worth it. I like how I can bash something and break something inside, but if I blow it up with a mine... Hey, no worries, bro. Okay, can't do anything with that guy. Alright, let's go back. Before I go down this other tunnel... Right, because this looks like it just keeps going and going. Um... Let's go back this way and see what was down this other tunnel where, like, I was, like, pew-pewing it up. Oh, he didn't leave anything. Sad face.
All right, I can loot him. Love to loot corpses. Robot corpses, human corpses. The corpses are great. I really think they're swell. Oh, where's this go? Getting all sorts of mines this way. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to explore this whole place before I end up being where I need to be. Oh, okay. I'm just the corpse. In the basic Ionite Edge. What is that? Get items. Let's bring up our inventory. Um, let's see. Sonic detonator, survey gear, energy shields, cardio regulator, gives us a fortitude plus two. Um, the belt monitors heartbeat and breathing and releases chemicals into the body. Should either of these become irregular, this gives the wearer a higher fortitude than most. Uh, this is the uh, data pad I found before. Mine, security tunnelers, parts, comlink, basic ionite edge, uh, upgrade item, uh, damage bonus, one, ion, damage bonus versus droids, die four, ion. Ionite alloy produces the inverse charge of its surroundings, creating a disrupting effect to electronical systems. These modifications require a workbench with adequate tools and a weapon of high quality marked as upgradable. Um, heavy bonded plates mark one defense bonus two dexterity minus two upgrade item heavy armor um this is an upgrade for heavy armor okay alloy overlays can enhance armor performance the modifications require a workbench with adequate tools and armor of high quality marked as upgradable so let's pull over to here do i have one of these already safety harness demolitions plus one and a cardio regular fortitude plus two that's gonna give me a whole extra point so i'm gonna equip that did i not equip my i guess i game wasn't saved when i did that okay well let's go ahead and save our game because we haven't saved in a little bit as you can see i'll get really wrapped up in what i'm doing and forget to save which is why i have to save every freaking chance i possibly can get because i will forget Okay, anything here? All right, so this was our dead end area. So the other place we were going was where we want to be ultimately so Why aren't you turning what is wrong with my mouse? Mining droid, let's roll our die six. Six, five to six is a three, which is actually a four. Run away! Why does my mouse keep like messing up? We got a corpse. I like corpses. Alright, we're gonna get all the items. Roll a die six again. Four. Three to four is a two, which is now a three. Let's check out this guy. Same thing. Two. One to two is a one. Scavenge for spare components. Are you good, bro? And same thing for this guy. Four. Three to four is a two, which is now a three. Turbo lift. Main destroyed? Can I? No. Alright. Escape. Save Argame. Save Argame. Okay. Okay. Escape. Let's do this. I think I forgot to put honey in my tea.
What the? Who's that guy? He did, that's for sure. Greetings. It is a pleasure to see you alive, Master. Provided my receptors are not off focus. How may I be of assistance? What? How many options we got? <clears throat> Throw a die six. Two. Tell me what you're doing here before I turn you into slag, buddy. I am a survivor of the Harbinger, just as you were master. With the unexpected termination of my previous master, you are the only organic which I may now serve. Oh, God. Um, okay, let's roll a... Die six, I guess. A one. Who's your previous master? Yes, the captain of the Harbinger, Master. I was in transit to Telos to facilitate communications and terminate hostilities. However, we did not arrive at our intended destination. Mm hmm. Let's roll a die six again. A four. Some questions I want to ask you, okay? Of course, Master. How may I be of assistance? Um, let's roll a die six again. A five. What's that body there? That is all that remains of the maintenance officer, Master. At the end, he was quite incoherent from the pain, and attempts to facilitate communications with him proved useless. I heard his dying screams as the droids he tended turned on him, mining him like a piece of asteroid rock. Let's switch Cola Ronic. Let's roll our die four. A four. Alright, I'll be going now. I don't know, is he following me? Is he. Am I leaving him here? Where did I come in at? Did I come in over here? Yeah, that's where I came in at. Okay, got some broken droids, aka droid corpses I can loot, aka the best. Alright. Alright, no, nothing in the lockers. He's gotten laggy for some reason. Um, alright, let's... Can we upgrade items? Can I upgrade this? Nope. Okay, I don't think I'm technically wearing heavy armor, so it can't be used. How about this thing? Yeah, I can add this thing to it. Basic Ionite Edge. Okay. Energy cell and a grip and a basic ionite edge. All right, assemble. So now, if we go into inventory, we got a die twelve plus four. Let's see about the fiber blade. Two to eleven plus three. Now we got a better chance to hit with the plus four. But I'm going to do a more consistent damage with this. Plus it specifically got extra damage for droids. Alright, so I'm going to stick with that then. That's probably the best option. Let's go ahead and save our game since we've discovered some new stuff. Data pad and a sonic imprint sensor. Okay. With the protocol droid's help, I finished work on the sonic imprint sensors. 
I've installed them in the mining droids, but I'm locking up the original here to prevent the other miners from using its ability to record and playback voices to override the droid's voice print protocols. Okay. So is that something I can do? Let's find it in our inventory. I read you, buddy. I read you loud and clear. Intended as a prototype droid component, the small sonic receiver allows sounds and voices to be recorded, spliced, and then played back. To record a voice, you must have the sensor in your possession and then speak to the subject you wish to record. Okay, I'm not sure if that's going to come up in... Uh... Nope, it's none of these things. So I'm not sure when that's going to come up. Or when or how we'll use it. But I guess we will at some point. Let's go ahead and save our game. Actually, and let's see. Let's go back to the workbench. Because I want to see if I can make... Some more stuff. Oh, I bet I can't make... Hmm. I was going to try and make some med kits, but I don't guess I can do that. Power Pulsator Mark 1. It's an upgrade item I can make. Massive criticals. One die four. This cell increases the energy output of blasters, blaster rifles, and bowcasters. Cool. Ion charger mark one. Bonus versus droid for item or for ion damage. Broadening chamber. Massive criticals two. Okay. Amplifying Chamber Mark 1. Damage Bonus 1 for Energy. Huh. Pretty cool stuff in here. How about Armors? Armor Plating Mark 1. Or Armor Ply Plating Mark 1. Um, gives us a plus 2 to Stealth. Heat shielding versus fire, ablative, defense, immunity versus energy, dexterity versus one though, or minus one. Energy shielding, 10% versus energy. Ballistic. Immunity, 10% for all that stuff, that's pretty cool. Bonded plates. Oh, that's why I found that. Environment underlay, uh, immunity and resist versus elements, biorestorative. Um, underlay can have a variety of effects on the armor to which it is applied. The modification requires a workbench with adequate tools and an armor with high quality. Huh. Regeneration one. That could be a cool thing. It's not very expensive maybe I'll make some of that just to make something um community energy strength plus one yeah let's make this let's create that yay I made something Molinine edge I'm really digging I think this new upgrade thing there's a keen ion cell versus droids, vibration cell, bonus slashing, agrinium, agrinium grip, upgrade to slashing, contour grip, attack plus one, but damage is minus one, Zabrakian grip, defense minus one, attack plus one. Interesting. 
Lightsaber. None of this stuff makes any difference to me. I don't have a lightsaber. Another random stuff I can make. Cool. Oops. I think I still wanted to be there to... Let's upgrade stuff. Let's upgrade the minor uniform. Give us this thing. Regeneration plus one. Just says it gives us regeneration plus one, but doesn't really give us specific stats. So that's kind of sucky. Anyway... Let's roll out, save our game again, and this is the part where I'll, where I'll choose to go back and we'll have to resave again, because that's what I do. JK, going through the door. Bang, bang, get out of here. Bang, bang. Whoa, I don't know where that came from. Did I miss a grenade I didn't see? Or a mine I didn't see? Why are you standing over there? Whoop. Oh shoot, I need to heal myself. And apparently there's a guy all the way over there. Oh, I've got poison, that's what my problem is. Yeah, you dead, sucker. Ooh, I get remains from his corpse. Yay! Oh yeah, look at that one health point. Mmm. Be getting that one HP, yo. Mmm, like every five seconds. Uh. Uh oh. Uh Okay, so let's do a mining shield. Let's do a med pack. Let's do an ion grenade. And an ion grenade. Oh, okay. Okay, they look much scarier than they were apparently. Shield's gone though. All right, so let's upgrade our shield. It just absorbs heat. It doesn't absorb energy. A oh, laser and plasma. All right, well we'll keep using them. I'm not sure if it really does anything or not, but. I'd like to go back to those back to tanks, but I'm a little far away, I think. Alright, let's see. Can we loot these guys? Nerp. Okay, so now our droid should have been over there at some place. But we can't get through these fields. So let's go ahead and save our game now let's see if I still got that uh, yep awesome the same door going to the same place is there another droid behind that interesting I'm gonna secure it open anyway. Oh, that's right. I got experience for that. Suckers. Now nah, I'm leveling up. Save my game too. Cause I got level up. And this thing might freeze on me again if I try and level myself up. No? Okay, party. There we go. Level up! Attributes. Alright, we get one of our main attributes to go up. Let's go ahead and roll our die six. A one. All right, so strength goes up. Okay. Skills, we're going to go ahead and roll our die eight. And if we end up getting a, what is that, a six? Yep, if we end up getting a six, we'll just roll again. 
which of course I did get a six first roll go figures a two demolitions a one computer use a two again oh I'm getting so good with those bombs I'm picking up so many bombs yo two again what the hell this is more like D&D &D. all right and a four one two three and four awareness okay powers Jedi powers I still can't use yet for some reason one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen so twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen would be three so I'm gonna roll a die 12 and I'm also gonna roll a die 4 and if we get a 1 um, that'll be 0 a 2 will be plus 1 3 will be plus 2 and a 4 will be plus 3 and that allows us to get a 1 as well as get a 15 so let's go ahead and roll a die 12 first and we're gonna start from the bottom too um, a 12 wow okay and a two, so it's a plus one, plus thirteen total. Uh, so if we've got fifteen total, and we started from the top, then um, fifteen, fourteen, and thirteen. Force valor. This is restricted by armor, so it doesn't work if we are using armor. This power increases the physical attributes and saving throws of the Jedi and all party members by two points. This effect lasts for two or two seconds, twenty seconds. All right. Oops, that's the one I want. And we're going to accept that. Because that's just how it is, yo. Now, let's go ahead and save our game. Or it freezes on us again. Anything in here? There's nothing in here? How was the point of all that? Like, oh, we locked up our conference room. Okay, whoops. Put our shield on. Let's hit that guy. Ow! Stop hitting me! Oh, I didn't realize that guy. Apparently heals those things. Maintenance joy, that makes much more sense. I was wondering what their point was. Oops. Put my mining shield back on, it's gone now. I don't know if it's just because I can see it better or what, but I feel like these uh, shields are working much better than they did in the first game. Boom! Oh yeah. Suckers! You can't handle me. Uh. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, space trash. All right, let's bring our map up. So let's go ahead and check these doors. This looks, that's a blue door, so that looks like where we need to go. So I don't want to go there quite yet. Want to explore. Uh-oh. A floating mine? Let's go ahead and save my game, because, uh... I have a feeling I'm going to get blowed up. And actually, let's switch to a blaster. I have a feeling if I walk in there, it'll get, I'll get blowed up. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Ah, see, that's what I didn't want to happen. I took just a step too much. 
save our game again. Switch us back to the fiber blade. Lockers? No. Really? Not quite sure what the point of that is then. Ah, this must open it. Oh. Yay, what I get? Bunch of junk, basically. Oops, that's the wrong button. Alright. So, let's go ahead and access maintenance logs. Ooh, look at all this. Sonic imprint sensor. Sonic imprint sensor prototype for the mining droids. Everyone knows they need an upgrade. The sensor should allow me to issue voice commands to them rather than manually adjusting their routine each time the mining specifications change. I've been keeping the sensor in the maintenance workshop for the time being. I wanted to test it first by recording and playing back some simple voice commands. Evanhawk droids. Hey, those are my droids. my examination of the droids from the Evanhawk freighter. The T3 unit looked like it had shut itself down. The protocol droid, however, made up for it. It talked my ear off for most of the hour, asking questions about the facility, the personnel, and so on. Still, it wanted to make itself useful, so I put it to work until its master wakes up from the med bay. It seems to have some skills in speaking to droid behavior cores, so... There's been some trouble with some of the mining droids, so I'm signing off. I wonder if that, uh, other droid of mine is what's causing all the trouble with the droids. A Jedi! The protocol droid about the Jedi in med bay? I thought they'd all gone away or been killed in the Jedi Civil War. The droid told me that his master is the only Jedi he knows of in all the galaxy. And that the Jedi had served in the Mandalorian Wars almost ten years ago. Wow. That would have meant that the Jedi served under Revan for a time. So... Jedi knows what happened to Revan after the end of the Jedi Civil War. So the Mandalorian War, right after they won it, is when Malak and Revan turned on the Jedi, become Sith Lords. And that was three years before the... Uh, story of KOTOR 1 so that would mean that it's been seven years since then something like that the exchange bounty for a while there's been more and more accidents that Jedi arrived the miners are starting to get restless especially Korda Korda said the exchange is offering a huge bounty on Jedi Knights and that we can make a fortune if we sell the Jedi to Nar Shaddaa. Security shot down that idea pretty quick. But I don't think Korda and his men are going to give up that easy. I mentioned the trouble to the Jedi's protocol droid. He seemed concerned about his master's safety. I told the droid not to worry. The Korda wouldn't. Oh, yeah? Hmm. When the dock officer reported the droids repairing the Ebonhawk, I saw a voice print ID on the droid console system. Someone ordered them to repair that freighter. I can't find a trace of the order anywhere. If anyone tries that again, they won't be able to do it from this terminal unless I let them. The voice print should cut any user off from the central functions unless I get the code. I think that probably backfired on you with all this stuff. The maintenance check on the droids didn't help. If anything, the accidents have increased. Security interrogated me about the droids and they weren't too happy with my answers. I understand it though. These aren't combat models. I shouldn't even know how to attack. I can't help but think, what if somebody staged the initial trouble with the mining droids just to get them all sent to maintenance, and then did something to them? I think security's right. Someone's trying to sabotage this facility, and they're using the droids to do it. But why? Yeah, that's what I can't figure out. Why is all this stuff happening here? It doesn't make any sense. Um, emergency subroutines. Uh, check for exits from fuel depot. Okay, check a containment field. Breach and fuel line is detected. Trace the source of the breach. The system is registering a blast in one of the main fuel lines. The containment field has been activated to keep the explosion isolated within the hangar bay and fuel lines. Okay, that would imply that the fuel lines connect directly to the hangar bay. If you could get access to the fuel lines, you could bypass the containment field directly. 
Um, Alright, let's check the fuel lines then. Though the fuel lines are currently sealed because no ships are docked within the facility, they would open automatically if a ship did arrive. That would mean you would have to board the docked ship and go through the fuel line to reach the hangar, however, which would be an extreme means of gaining access. Let's check the other exits. Turbo lift. Okay, so... Um, it's probably going to open only when entering administration from the fuel depot. The other... Because yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be learning here, to be honest. Turbo lift to mining tunnels. Detonations detected, venting systems activated, access denied. Okay. Let's check the other exits, I guess. Check airlock. Oh, okay, that's where I was trying to go through. Maybe I can, um, open door to airlock. Access denied, voice print identification required. Surely I can make... Strangely enough, this console has been voice printed. Not only does it require a code, but the code has to be spoken in the user's voice, most likely the voice of the maintenance officer. Until the voice print ID is given, you cannot give commands through the terminal that you can search through the records, cameras, and platform checks on various systems. I would think that what I just had would be enough, but maybe not. Emergency subroutines? No, this is where I was just at, I think. No, not quite. Did I do this one already? The explosions in the facility look like they have been locked down. They have locked down every blast door in the facility, including the ones at the hangar. It looks like each turbo lift door needs to be opened manually. Against procedure, however, the doors have been programmed so that anyone entering the administration level will have the doors open automatically. The turbo lifts will not respond to anyone leaving the level, effectively cutting off administration from the rest of the facility. So you can get there, but you can't get out. Okay. And subroutines, ventilation systems, active. This ventilation system appears to be disabled except in two areas, the mining tunnels on the level above and the main living quarters on the other side of the asteroid. The ventilation system in the mining tunnels activated as soon as the containment field went down. The system is now venting fuel out to the surface of the asteroid to keep it from building up within the facility. I guess let's trace the source of it. I'm not quite sure what this is telling me to do. Like, why, why do I need to know all this stuff? The chemical field appears to have been shut down via remote. Another section of the facility, you can't get a signature on the ID terminal. Okay. Let's access comm system. They're damaged. Let's run a diagnostic, since I can do that, I guess. Destroyed from the fuel depot. The system circuit has been severed with a laser drill. Okay, just like that. When there's too much interference in the asteroid rock to contact any other level via comlink. Alright, let's check out the cameras, I guess. Containment field camera. The remaining area has been sealed by the emergency lockdown, however, new programming has been introduced to keep it from opening even if the lockdown is cancelled. There's no way to shut it down, as you can see from the terminal. Effectively cut off. Maintenance level. Looked at that one before. Fuel line sensors. There's that thing, wherever that's at. Is there a T3 unit in there? I didn't see a T3 unit in there. I don't see the T3 unit. Airlock camera. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay, should we check those all out? So it's basically useless? We can't do anything with any of that? I'm very confused. Alright, so I guess we're gonna go through the turbo lift.
I feel like I'm missing something. I'm feeling really stupid right now because I'm I'm not quite sure what the significance of all that is. Like, I can't get out. I have to get out a certain way. Paper journal. Okay, well that's not helpful. That's stuff I had before already. Oh, what was that? Is there a door up here that I can go through? Is that a thing before? A door I couldn't get through for some reason? Still locked down because of the gas, right? Maybe? I'm very confused. Let's talk to this guy. I don't know what. Found anything? Um. All right, these don't really do anything, so I'm just not even gonna roll for one. I'm just gonna pick this thing. Yeah. Did you blow it up? Let's roll a die four odds or evens for the first two. Four is an even. Why would I do that? Because droids can't be trusted. And you can, bro? Look, I could have let you rot in those mining tunnels, and all I get from you is back talk. You know what? I don't trust you. For all I know, you could have caused all this trouble. In fact, you did just by being a Jedi. So before you start Racist. accusing me of anything, Jedi, maybe you better take a look at what you've done. Alright, never mind. I got exploring to do. Jerk face. So I'm missing something somewhere. Like... That should have been... Maybe I gotta talk to this droid guy more. There's not really anything else to do here. Literally can't go back that way. Greeting. It is a pleasure to see you intact, Master. How may I be of assistance? Hmm. Let me ask him about that. Query. Indeed. Master, how is it possible that a T3 unit got dumped in such a place? Like a piece of unwanted garbage? Thoughtful extrapolation. Perhaps it ran afoul of the other droids in this facility and was attacked. Most distressing. It is too bad that there is no way to reach the droid from here, Master. Otherwise you might be able to determine what happened to it. All right, I've definitely got more questions for you, buddy. Let's see if he knows a way to get in there. answer. Oh, that is unfortunate, Master. The hangar is sealed behind a containment field. It would be impossible to open it. What about the override codes, buddy? Only the Paragus administration officer would have such codes, Master. If he hasn't already been murdered in an unfortunate accident, then he is trapped in the dormitory section, which has been effectively cut off from the facility by explosives. Hmm. Alright, let's roll a die six. Six. Five to six is a three. Like there'd be other tunnels. You could walk across the surface of the asteroid to the dormitory airlock, but such a route would be extremely hazardous, and I do not wish to see you damaged. OK. 
Okay, let's roll a die four. Hmm. Odds are evens. One is an odd. We heard are in danger. We need to make sure they're all right. Let's take the high ground. Master, continued exploration of this facility may place you in unnecessary danger. I encourage you to return to the medical bay and wait for retrieval from a vessel that is no doubt on the way, even as we continue this pointless conversation. Um, let's roll a die six then. A one, a one to two is a one. Weary resignation. Very well, master. But there is very little that I can do. You see, the airlock is sealed by a code. Yes, I know this, but... Um, all right, I gotta get the code. Let's roll a die for twos and even. Who's got the damn code? Oh, I already possess the code, Master. Ah, see, this is what I needed. It will do you no good. Throw a die six. A one. One or two is a one. What do you mean, bro? Condescending explanation. <laughs> of course. The console governing the droid maintenance area and the airlock is voice printed music. In the last days of his life, the maintenance officer was quite careful about voice protocols bordering on paranoid obsession. Conjecture. I suspect once he realized something was wrong in the facility, he voice locked the droid bay functions. A prudent measure, but in the end, he met the same fate as the rest of the organics. Okay, let's roll a die six. So if he's got the code, then we can take his voice print from other recordings we have of him. That's what I needed. A one. One to two is a one. Voice printed. Look, I don't know what that means. Yes, master. Many consoles have voice recognition sensors built into their systems so that only selected individuals can unlock them. Let's roll a die four then, because he knows it or has it. Three, that's an odd. Condescending explanation. Oh, yes, Master. The code is Maintenance Control Voice Print ID R1B5. But unless the maintenance officer speaks the code, it is useless. Hmm. Let's roll a die six. A one. One or two is a one. Placating answer. Oh, <laughs> of course, Master. I shall endeavor not to forget such descriptors in the future. If I do, I assure you, it is merely a result of memory damage I have suffered since our arrival. Okay, die six again, I guess. A five. Five to six is a three. So how can I get him to speak the code? Answer. Master, you cannot... You are trapped here. Give me the answers I want so we can keep going with the storyline, bro. Do, except patiently wait for whatever the future has in store for us. Mm, more questions for him for now? Of course, Master. How may I be of assistance? Alright, never mind. Oh, I got a light side point somehow. Oh, I never looted his corpse? How did I not ever loot his corpse? What a travesty. Alright, so now... All I've got to do... I think... Is put together this voice patch thing. Which... I should be able to do... Officer reported the droids repairing the Ebonhawk. I saw the voice print ID on the droid console system. Someone ordered them to repair that freighter. But I can't find a trace of the order anywhere. If anyone tries that again, they won't be able to do it from this terminal unless I let them. The voice print should cut any user off from the central functions unless I give the code.
Okay. So I think now I can use the sonic sensor? Maybe I have to play all of those. I'm not sure. Let's save our game. Save our game. Okay. I'm actually thinking, yeah, I should have known that wasn't going to work. I probably have to do it from inside the console and play it back. Has the container always been there? Yeah, it's empty. Okay. We're going to see lockdown status. Yeah, we looked at this already. Okay, so what I want to do... Finish the okay, I think I have to just listen to everything again. Everyone knows they need the sensor should allow me to issue voice... I've been keeping the sensor in the maintenance workshop. So we've already read all these. The protocol droid, however, still, it wanted to make itself useful. There's been some trouble with some of the money. Been speaking to the protocol droid about the Jedi and Medbay. The droid told me that his master is the only. That would have meant that the Jedi served under Revan for a time. Been too busy to have a log for a while. There's been more and more accidents. That Cordis said the exchange is offering a huge bounty. Security shut down that idea pretty quick. I mentioned the trouble to the Jedi's protocol droid. The maintenance check on the droids didn't help. Security interrogated me about the droids. I can't help but think, what if somebody staged the initial trouble? I think security's right. Someone's... So now, when the let's do this. When the droids repairing the Ebonhawk, I saw a voice print ID on the droid console system. Someone ordered them to repair that freighter. But I can't find a trace of the... If anyone tries that again, they... Okay... How do I get the voice print ID to... I run the diagnostic? Did I do this before? Pretty sure I did. It's an operative... okay. So I need to find other pieces of it from other consoles. I'm not sure where I would find that. Hmm. Okay, so let's try the console here. I imagine I can find some more stuff off of this console, but I don't know if I'll be able to find anything else. Like another console. I don't can't think of another console. Tracked at the freighter in. Was lucky it wasn't destroyed when it dripped that much on board. Sent the yeah. question the protocol. He says this inventory the body. The yeah, person. this is the wrong guy, I think. Trouble. Court yeah, they're all this guy. Too much. There's another comm system somewhere, but I don't know where they all are. Maybe here there's one? I need the Jedi run thing. Is there a console in here? Nope. Okay, so we're gonna run all the way back to where we started. Oh, there's a security desk here. 
I'm sure there's stuff we can find. Yeah, I forgot about this. Security records. Ah, sonic sensor. There we go. So, you're in maintenance. Then maybe you can... Sir, I don't know. It's like their behavior cores are undergoing binary decay, but I can't find the source. This shouldn't be happening. Well, that's reassuring. You better give me some answers. I'll... Sir, these droids aren't combat models. Their mining lasers are weaker and less accurate than blasters. Are you blind? So I want you to find... In the meantime... Yes, sir. Maintenance control out. Idiot. Okay. Got a second part. So let's see if the one all the way back where we started will give us the other part. I don't actually remember what was on this one. A couple different people, I know that. Here we go. Medical logs. No. Patient treatment. No, oh, did that do this last time? Okay, I don't know what all that means. We need to talk to her at some point. She's kind of a. Sure, we'll die for. We'll get at least one conversational thing out of her. Oh, one! You're hearing your voice, bro. Oh, yes, I noticed that as well. It may be that our proximity during our long slumber may have had unforeseen consequences. Roll a die four. Three is an odd. What do you mean unforeseen Seems consequences? I speak without speaking. Perhaps this effect will pass with time. Must be related to what was going on before. Roll a die two again. A two. That's an even. Stay out of my head, all right? I have little choice, and neither do you. It is an advantage to us both, and I suggest we make use of it. Alright, let's roll a die four again. A two. They got murdered. I do you know why? Know. Why did they spare you? Um let's ask or let's roll a die six. A four. Three to four is a two. Apparently I'm trained to resist poisons of the body. The Jedi trans could protect one from such poisons. In fact, the sedatives News to me. Have been intended to keep you unconscious for some time. It would prove lethal to those untrained in such techniques, however. Most curious. Mm, okay, let's roll a die four. A three. I'll be back, lady. Alright. I'll be back. Alright, nothing here. Actually, while I'm here, I want to see if I can make some med packs. Oh, wow, it costs a lot to make a med pack. Woo! But antidotes. It costs even more to make an antidote. Retinal combat. Ah, jeez. Oh, this is an implant, so that makes more sense. Awareness plus one, immunity critical hits. Can't make any stimulant. Oh, I can make a strength one. That costs a lot. Make mines. Ooh, these things cost even more. Holy crap. Oh, there's so much more to make these things. It is to... Man, I don't know why I would... Hmm. Alright. So much for that idea. Let's save our game. I haven't saved in a little bit. It's 
So I have to find that other computer, basically. Can I go through here? Emergency lockdown is in effect. Turbolifts have been sealed to contain. Turbolift of some type, but we never got that one open. Okay. Can I not get through there either? I was able to go through that one before. Why can I not... I don't know that I've got any more... things to read. I literally can't go anywhere else. Sure, there's nothing down here. No, nope, didn't think there was. So I have to find another computer that's got more of those voice recordings on there. But I don't know that one exists. I only have access to three consoles. And they're all used. Been through them all at this point. Okay, nothing up here. Hmm. What the hell? Let's try back down here again, I guess. Data pads are text typed things, right? What kind of data pad that this guy wrote, but it would be text, not. voice stuff. Check system ID signature. Oh, this is where that, okay. This word was given from this terminal a few minutes before the emergency lockdown took place. Numerous safety overrides were bypassed under the guise of issuing emergency treatment. Furthermore, it appears that two cameras within the medical bay were linked to this terminal, then locked into place. The camera in to the morgue and the camera in the room with the call to thanks. There is no record of who issued these commands. Based on the maintenance log, the voice printing took place, however, it would have ordered it would have had to have occurred after the console was voice printed by the maintenance officer. So it would be the maintenance officer. Did the voice print thing there? I don't freaking know, dudes. I have no idea where else I'm supposed to get this voice print from. This is locked. There's nothing in here. They're in the snow like, aha, here's the thing you need. If I could get to that console, maybe. But I can't do that. Hmm. This I'm pretty certain I can't go back down there. Yeah, the gas keep me from going back down. Which means everything should be... Here. Okay, I guess there's nothing I can really learn from the workbench. What 
talk to this guy again. Maybe he's got a voice recording of something. Uh, what's that body there? That is all that remains of the maintenance officer, Master. At the end, he was quite incoherent from the pain, and attempts to facilitate communications with him proved useless. I heard his dying screams as the droids he tended turned on him, mining him okay. like a piece of asteroid rock. Does he have the... This is what I need. Did he say anything at the end? Recitation. Oh, yes, Master. The record of his last moment. Here we go. Five droids burning through the outer door. They're, they're forcing their way into the bay. Please, someone there. Oh, oh, no, they're, they're through. Oh, my leg. They're burning through my leg. Oh, stop. Stop, please. Addendum. His remaining attempts at communication are variations in Decibel Master, ranging from frenzied screams to gibbering inarticulate attempts to beg for his life. Yeah, here we go. That's what I needed. Recitation. Oh, yes, Master. The record of his last moments were... Five droids burning through the outer door. They're, they're forcing their way into the bay. Oh, my leg! Okay. His remaining... All right. So I did it. Now we can get through the door. I was very confused. I was like, I don't know where... Uh... I'm supposed to find this other part of the voice recording stuff. Um, let's go ahead and save our game. Here we go. Hands control, voice print ID R1B5. Okay. Open door to airlock with maintenance override. That's what I wanted. Ha ha! We're doing it now! A bully for us! We're cooking with fire now, chops! Oh, we did it! We did it! It took forever and I'm dumb, but we did it! Save our game! Save our game! Sorry for all you that like knew what was going on and you're like, oh, just do the thing right I'm, I'm really dumb. I'm just, I'm really, really dumb. In order to exit the airlock, you will need the spacesuit stored in the locker in this room. It should equip automatically when you select the outer airlock. All right, get items. Let's. Whoops. Ah, it's not the wrong. I wanted the other one. We're going outside. Outside. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, it's so much faster than the other one. Oh. It was horrible trying to run through space in KOTOR 1. Oh, so much faster. So much faster. It's a cool thing over there, all blowed up. That looks dangerous. I think perhaps I don't want to go through it. Okay, well I'm not dead. See, I see inside the little thing there. That's cool. Running, running, running in space. Running in space. Is it cold in space, Bowie? Are your nipples Outside. hard in space, Bowie? signal after you left the mining tunnels. Now you're coming in clear. Except I'm picking you up on the exterior of the facility. On the asteroid surface. That can't be right. Yep. That's exactly where I'm at. Let's uh, roll our die. Six, three. Three to four is two. Huh? What are you doing out there? Um, I was just going for a walk. Uh, let's roll a die. Six, a three. Three to four is a two. That's what I wanted to tell you. 
The few remaining venting systems have gone active, most likely from the explosions in the mining tunnels. They're venting Paragus fuel deposits into space through the exterior vents, right in your path. Awesome. I'm glad we're doing this. I'm going to do all that work and it's not even going to be useful. I rolled a die six. I got a six. Um, three or five to six is a three. Why are the vents placed so well, close? Just, they're not supposed to be active when the airlock's open. And not without the safety measures kicking in. The vents look like they've been purposely rerouted to vent the gases to the exterior. And only in the last few minutes. It's almost as if... Is that something I did? Now what now? I might have done that. I don't believe this. There's a ship coming in. Sending a docking code. I have a bad feeling about this. That's how I get in through the thing, right? Docking code. Why is it black? Where's my... There we go. It's a space boat! Corpses. That's not good. Oh, that's a person. Okay. What the hell? Got the high res pack, but this does not look like the high res movie. Interesting. up with Sir Creepy. What the f mm. Lots of flashies. What's going on? So we see our bad guy for the first time. Meditating, I guess. Okay. I think we're about to have a not good time. Watching a ship dock, okay. even connects to okay oops all right, so here's our ship with the big bad evil guy in it, I guess. Um, I think the only thing we can really do is just keep, keep on keeping on. I feel like this probably portents something, but I don't know what. Okay, we have made it inside. Hmm. All right, guys, we're gonna uh, wrap up the stream here for today. Um, before we get involved, too involved into whatever scaly uh, graystone skin guy is up with. Um, Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you liked it, hit like on that video. If you disliked it, hit dislike. That's what those are there for. 
you can give feedback on what you think about the stuff if you got uh, actual feedback that you like it requires words and stuff hit those comments bro or bro it um if you are trying to like oh dude you should have done this you should have done that like and you want to do this like in real time you know go over to mixer mixer.com slash hobfoot h-o-b-f-o-o-t-e and find me there hit the follow thing you'll get notices when i go live and you'll be able to chat in real time with me over there on like star wars or like oh hey do this oh you should do that um or help me with these puzzles so i don't look so stupid i like that too i think that's a good idea just just my opinion though um and um so yeah should do that um subscribe to the youtube channel so you can keep up with every time a new video comes out or if we're doing something else that's not you know video game playthrough related um trying to get some of that stuff done that be a maybe thing that happens sometime perhaps um if you were just trying to just chat and general bs or whatever uh hit me at uh twitter at hobfoot h-o-b-f-o-o-t-e um and yeah i think that's everything is that all the housekeeping stuff oh well good enough for this one check out the other if you want to check out the kotor playthrough you want to see me get like brutally uh massacred wave after wave check out the last couple videos on uh the playlist for kotor one and uh it's pretty bad it's it's pretty bad that's the direct consequences of a chaos playthrough that's why nobody does these people are smarter than me so they don't do this stuff so anyway yeah so that's it uh thanks for tuning in i will see you guys tomorrow peace out girl scouts